Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. And I am excited to show you the cars here at the old junkyard at Mike's. Part one, if you haven't seen it already, is where we walked around and basically saw all the tools, machines, and I didn't even get through all of it. I mean, there is so much here. Machine shop is kind of falling in a little bit. <laughs> Understatement of the year. Oh, check that out. Oh man, that is a draw cut saw. Oh wow, check out that press. That is a 50 ton OTC hydraulic press. Oh, no way. Do you see that? Oh, we gotta go see that. Oh, check it out. There's an old Caterpillar wheel loader. That is another trencher. Oh, that's cool. Oh wow, look at that. The Diggin' Dutchman, Vermeer. This is a 1960s Caterpillar 941 track loader. I had to hack my way in here, but check this out. This is an Allison Chalmers HD 16 bulldozer. Ooh, check that out. Here's a low boy trailer. Oh, heck yes. Wow. At some point I gotta figure out a way to move old red. That might be it right there. That'd make an awesome project. Oh, there's a semi too, what the heck? Sweet. Well, there's the rig right there. There's how we move old red. Like in part two here, we're gonna be looking at beautiful cars like this, this old Hudson. We got Noah's Ark there in that van. So there are cars, there's a main trail or two, actually three, and then there's cars just everywhere in the woods. So I'm gonna try my best to get through a lot of it, but there are so many vehicles here, it is mind blowing. I will tell you that I don't know all of them. I seriously, am, I, I know a lot about cars, but I don't know every car here. Some cars are recognizable, some cars are so bent up and beat up that you just can't tell what they are. Um, so. Feel free to comment in the comment section and let me know what you see and what kind of vehicles are out here. Uh, white 9000 semi truck. There's a Mustang right there. That red one.
289. Almost nothing left of it, really. There are cars everywhere. Check that out, New Yorker Deluxe. There's work vehicles. There are passenger cars. There's commercial trucks. Like right there, that's a big dump truck. You got Astro vans, you got boats. There's motorcycles out here. International Lodestar. Dump truck. I wonder if the engine's in there. Most of it's in there. Oh, awesome. No way. Do you know what that is? That is an International Scout. The International Scout was the predecessor to the Ford Bronco. And that is cool. And these doors, they come off real easy. Look at stick shift. In rough shape, but all wheel drive. Somebody took the badges already. The International Scout badges. But I believe it should say it on the back. Yeah. International Scout. Man, this thing is roached. There's a tow truck. There's a Chevelle. Some of the engine still. 300 Deluxe, I'm guessing that's a fender for it. Oh, check these out. Male Jeeps. Two of them. Look how long they've been there. See the bumper? See that tree growing right around that bumper? And old male Jeeps, they have the seat and the driver on the wrong side, the opposite side over there. They got like sand tires on that thing. This would be a cool project. One of these. There's a big caddy. Ooh, a LeBaron. Le Wood grain sides. Station wagon. Oh yeah. I don't know what year this one is, but I grew up my dad loved 1985 station wagons. And he liked it because you could put the tailgate down and basically use it as a bed of a truck. You could haul a bunch of kids in it by flipping the back seat up. You know, the seat that when you're sitting in it, you're thinking to yourself, I wonder what all these signs say, because you can't read them. And so, and I, I don't know, he liked the look of them, I'm not sure, but. This is not that, but it definitely reminds me of it. You can just see cars everywhere. Some are crumpled up. Some are still pretty good. There's an International Lodestar dump truck. Lodestar 1600. The inside's pretty decent. There's a crane truck over there. It's probably an 80s Ford Bronco. Bronco 2 XLT. Crew cab. P 
Pittman Unidyne 2. It's outriggers. Big flat bed with a bucket truck. It's not a crane truck, it's a bucket truck. Check that out, that's cool. And right behind it, looks like an old John Deere uh, combine, I think. But man, look at these cars. You know, the one thing I will say about old cars, old tools, old machines, man, were they built beautifully. They were designed with pride. I mean, it is truly an honor to, to walk through a junkyard like this because I, I love it. I love seeing the designs of these cars. I love seeing the body lines. I mean, the names of them, the, well, the way they were designed, it's not like today. Today, so much is made in plastic. So much is, you know, as cheap as possible. You know, it's, it's not like the body lines of these Power Glides and, and Monte Carlos and Camaros and, you know, the Bel Air, old Custom 10. These vehicles were designed in a time when people truly took pride in what they were doing. And I would love to have seen this junkyard before everything got overgrown and forgotten. Well, it's technically never forgotten, but it definitely has been neglected. I mean, there are a lot of these vehicles that have motors. I mean, look at that. Look at the, look at the Plymouth hood ornament. Beautiful. A lot of these cars are not complete. Chevy Caprice. Well, I mean, it's row after row after row of beautiful, beautiful machines. Oh wow, here's a cab over. Oh cool. I wonder what model. It's a dual axle. I believe that's an international. There's a Galaxy. Always thought those were cool. Galaxy. Check that car out. Ford Galaxy. So I know for a lot of you, I'm probably passing cars that, wow, look where, the, look where the motor is in this thing. I'm probably passing cars that are exciting for you. And if I am, tell me about them. Tell me about them in the comments because I'd love to know more about these old beasts. These old beautiful cars, that's a Buick. Oh, there's a Wagoneer. That's awesome. That's a Jeep Wagoneer. That's cool. Oh yeah, so this rolls the window down. And then it has a tailgate too. Similar to the station wagon I was talking about. Four wheel drive. There it is, Jeep. Man, I don't know if there's a, looks to be an engine, there's a radiator. Without popping the hood, I'm not sure. I 
the Sabre Custom. There's a Renault. Interesting. Old Continental. So this is one of the main trails. We just kind of ADD'd our way out of there. There's a little 650. I'm not sure what that thing is. What is that little car? Looks like an MG. Is that an MG? There's a Ford F-350 uh, tow truck. That's cool. There's a Bel Air, I like that. All right, let's ADD our way in this way, see what we find. That looks like a Mustang. Chevy Vega. Here's a Pinto. Run about. Here's a Pontiac Catalina. There's a tree on it. So there's the semi. And then the bulldozer is right up that way. Look at that old car. Volkswagen. What is this thing? A Volkswagen Rabbit. Oh, that's cool. There's another Bronco. Ford Bronco Custom. I'm gonna guess that's a 70s or 80s. Next to the trailer here. A couple other sports cars. That's a Gran Torino. There's a Volkswagen something. Volkswagen BBIT diesel LS. I don't know what that is. Looks like it's a little stick shift car. Wonder if the diesel's in there. Kind of cool. Oh, look at this. Uh, this truck here. This is almost like a prison vehicle. Bars on the windows. Got like bench seats in the back here. There's a door. It's even got the police light right there. Ooh, check out this Chevy. Oh, Chevy 6100 tow truck that's pretty cool there's a galaxy 500 what is that thing is that like a Plymouth there's an oldie that's a cool car Still got an engine in it. I mean, you just see this car here, and then you see the size of the tree coming out of it. And you know it's been here a while. So we got a Galaxy. There's a Mercury wagon of some kind. A 
Dodge. What's that big wheel? Some sort of a grading attachment? I don't know. There's another Pinto. There's a couple school buses. There's a GMC Bluebird. And then behind that one, we've got a Chevy school bus. Ooh, look at the body lines of that beauty. Oh, cool. Check these out. These are like steel I-beam trusses. Oh, that would be awesome to make a shop with. Ooh, might have to see about those. But just, look at these cars. They go on, and on, and on. And trust me, we're not even, we haven't even scratched the surface yet. You see what I mean when I say old cars are beautiful? Wow. Roadrunner. Check that out. Volane? I don't know what that is. So right up that aisle is where the semi truck and the flat or the low boy trailer is. Old Dodge Ram. A lot of the really mint cherry muscle cars are gone from what I've been told. But Monte Carlo, Ford on its side, there's a gremlin. That's cool. Oh my gosh. Look at the Chevy. Oh baby. What is that? And the one next to it, dang, I didn't even see that. That's a Chevrolet Viking 60. And this is a Chevy 5700. What is that on it? That's a signal. That's a signal light. No freaking way. Holy mother. Look at this thing. That is a signal. Those are largely used by the military. You see those, you know, big parties in the old school movies. So this is a General Electric. I'm betting this is a generator. Ugh. Yeah, some sort of a motor. And I don't know what's over there, but there's no head on it. But this is a separate motor, probably to generate the electricity to run that signal light. Wow. That is a unique machine. Very, very cool. Wow. That is awesome. Huh. Wow, that's very, very, very cool. I love that. This dump truck too, man. Oh wow, that uh, shifter has a, a high and a low, I think. I think that's what that's for. For additional gears or maybe that's the PTO that engages for the dump I don't know Wow I probably said that a million times by now Ambassador, Caprice. The 
at that old truck right here. That's cool. Let's go look at it. The Dodge. That is really cool. What does it say? Job rated. That's neat. Ford Custom Sport Truck. Continental. Another VW. A little Beetle. Is that a fair lane? I think that's a fair lane. Wow, oh, what's this thing? That's cool. So just look around. There are cars everywhere. And this goes on for a very, very long while. Oh, that's a beautiful car right there. What is that? I don't know. Tell me what that is. That's cool. We are in uncharted territory here. There's another cab over. I think that's a, a Kenworth maybe? Huh. Interesting. A little panel here on the front of the truck just folds open. That's kind of cool. Let's close that back up. What do you think? Think those tires will make it? I think they'll be fine. You can be out here for days and not see it all. Mercury. There's a Mustang. Mustang had the the C stripe, the C pinstripe on it. It's probably a 70s era. Has that fastback look, the the Eleanor look with the louvers on the sides there. And stripped down for parts. That's cool. Oh, is that a Super B? No, it's a Duster. There's a duster. What's that thing? That's a cool looking car. Looks foreign. There's a Toyota. Something. You know, a place like this has parts that if you needed it, you'd never be able to find it. And places like this are disappearing. People don't appreciate and are losing respect for old anything. Old people, old machines, old cars, the ways things were done in the day. That convertible. It's cool. I have a passion for anything old. Maybe not old people, but 
I don't have anything wrong with old people, but I, sorry, I just don't have a passion for old people. I love old tools. I love old machines. I love old cars. I love the old-fashioned sense of hard work. I mean, even to be able to show you this and get through these woods has been a lot of work. This is not an easy thing to do. So right here, you see that fence is the back edge of this car lot. Kind of cool to see that. Dotson. Look at these cars just kind of Look at these cars kind of just washed out right here. This is a kind of a creek that goes down to the lake. And these cars have kind of just started to lose uh lose land. Check this out. Look at this. We're standing in the bed of the Dotson. And just a little water passage. This will be a good bridge. Back over. There. Studebaker. Look at that. There's a Studebaker. Skylark, I think. Or maybe just Lark. Alright, we already saw this Dodge. Let's head this way. There's another Hudson. When you come to a Y in the road in life, which way do you go? Left or right? Let's go right. So this aisle, kind of cars are stacked double, double tall. But as you get further into the wood, they stop doing that. Ford panel van. Well, I hope you've been enjoying the the walk in the woods with me. I know I've been having fun. A lot of these cars are not really resurrectable. But that's not to say they don't have some awesome parts that would be difficult to find otherwise. There's a VW. Little bug. There's a lot of those out here. Probably seven or eight that I've seen. A lot of these old 40s, 50s, 60s trucks. Another fork in the road. I 
I enjoy it when it gets calm and quiet out. There's another VW. I mean, it's just so overwhelming. The number of amazing machines that are out here. The number of cars beats that. It's incredible to me how many amazing vehicles are out here. How many awesome old school vehicles. You know, this, there's cars from probably the 40s to about the 90s. And most of the newer cars are closer toward the front of the property. People may be wondering why people do stuff like this or why is it like this? Well, first off, number one, Mike didn't do this. This has been this way for a long time. And this was a junkyard. And old junkyards tended to hang on to vehicles. It wasn't about scrapping them. It wasn't about scrap metal. It was about selling parts or selling a car or you needed this, that, or another. And so you would come out here and you would find the part you needed and you'd buy it from the scrapyard. I'm sorry, the, the junkyard. And that's what this place was. And I don't know at what point things changed, but there's a bunch of motorcycles. Squirrel. You know, I don't know what point things changed, but it just kind of has sat for a long time. There's a Yamaha. I don't know what some of these are. Cool banana seat. That's a Yamaha. Pretty cool bike. A lot less bikes out here than there are cars. I mean, I've probably seen, there's five or six bikes there. I've probably seen another four or five just kind of random here and there. But. fact that all the brush has grown up and in and around them it would be very difficult and a lot of work to keep up on keeping the brush out of the cars when it wasn't yours to begin with and so it has just kind of nature's taking it back and that's what happens I mean to us to machines to anything that's just what happens and so, you know, these days, a lot of this would be immediately drugged to the scrapyard and people get a buck. Yeah, this place is so much fun for a guy like me to come out and just see this amazing stuff. I know people that would drive days or hours to go look at one of these vehicles in some random lot. And here I am amidst hundreds upon hundreds of them. And check that Plymouth out. That was cool in its day. You know, this is truly an honor. Chevrolet 3700. That's a cool truck. There's a set of Mustang fenders. 289. Pretty cool. 
Chevy F600 truck. That's a cool box truck. Another cab over. Another truck. Here's a Suzuki motorcycle. There's a motorcycle on top of a car. Check that out. I think that's a Super B. Let's go look. No motor. Yeah, it is. Dodge Super B. That's cool. Bet you that car was awesome in its day. Check out this old school bus. Not sure what brand it is yet. Look at that thing. Man, I love that, that curved back there. Let's go ahead and check it out. Oh man, it looks like somebody made it a mobile home camper oh, it's a Ford so stick shift no idea how many speeds it's got a stove it's got a stove a sink an old Frigidaire refrigerator oh man the inside is actually nice There's a bed frame. Crazy. Floor's a bit rotten through. Couple's bench seats. Awesome. So at one time, the max seat capacity was 45. Long since. Still got the motor. It's a V8 flathead. Check that out. Flathead there, flathead here. Carburetor, generator. Wow. There's the V8 emblem. Oh man, look at that. Look how that rounded. That's so cool. I'm telling you, they used to design things that were beautiful. Check out this old international. International Lodestar 1700. Look at the size of those hubs. The bench seat. I think it's an automatic. Maybe. Oh no, it's not an automatic. There's the stick shift. Just missing the shifter. But look at that. Those tanks. Check out the rear axle. That thing is massive. Double set of leaf springs. That's cool. It's got a pinnel hitch and a fifth wheel. This thing was a workhorse in its day. And now it sits among the ruins. That's cool. Man, I would love to see that thing run again. This this little pinnel hitch. That's a that's an attachment. That's cool. I was thinking about doing that to a truck someday. But it's got the fifth wheel right there. Sweet. Just car after car. Check out that orange truck. Oh yeah, check that out. Old Suburban. Rally Sport, what is this thing? Is that a Mustang? 
There's an old old Chevy truck, just cab vertical. Looks like a good spot to put it. Oh, what is that thing? There's a Fairlane 500. There's a Galaxy 500. That's a Pontiac. Is that a Firebird? Yeah, that's a Pontiac Firebird. So I'm just walking by this Galaxy 500. Oh, no big deal. There's just a Gran Torino Sport. Missing the motor, but... It's like it was an automatic. Still a cool car. Check this truck out. Old Ford. That's a wrecker truck. Oh man. Yeah, it's got a wrecker bed. Still got the engine. Ford flathead. V8 flathead there. That's cool. Look at that thing. Yeah, check that out. That's the wrecker. Got the big, uh, the big cable winch there. Original dash. It's got 83,000 original miles. It's cool. There's another Galaxy. Still got the motor in that one. That's awesome. Here's an old Ford F100. Check out that badge. That's cool. And the one on the hood is sweet too. Check that out. Right in here we got another Ford Gran Torino. And there's a Ford Courier, that old tailgate. That looks like a Mustang. Camaro. Ah, that's a Camaro. Check that out. Bucket seats. She's an automatic. Hard top. It's cool. Gotta love the gold color. Check out this Chevy cab over. So we got a Chevy, looks like a Viking 60 cab over. We got a Ford F, Ford F750 big job. Oh yeah, check that out, look at that. That's a Fontaine fifth wheel. That is a nice fifth wheel plate. International something over there. Another something there. There's another something here. There's somethings everywhere. I don't know what they all are, but check this Chevy out. Man, this cab over is rotten, but... Oh yeah, I'm not getting that open. She's roached. And she's the convertible version. <laughs> check that truck out. That is cool. That's about as much as it's ever going to be, is cool. <laughs> they are packed in here like sardines. Old Chevy truck here. I don't know what that thing is, but I'm still figuring that out. And then we got a Mustang that's been tacoed in half. No idea what I'm standing on. But... Bucket seats. Automatic looks like and there's another Mustang right there that black one Whoa! Yeah. Mustang
cool. Good shape. I wonder if the motor's in it. I'm gonna guess there's no motor. I am wrong. There's the motor. I don't know what motor that is, but still there. And that fender's red. That old work box. That's cool. Yeah, there's the classic Mustang. Right there too, check that out. What's this thing? That's a Ford, that's a Ford cab over. wrecker at one point. Yeah, it's got the winch. I don't know how bad the back of it is, but man, check this cab out. Cab over means that the cab is literally over the motor. So there's the motor and you literally sit around it. So it's missing some pieces, but. Man, look how buried in the dirt that thing is. Wow, still got the glass though. All right, check that out. Got a New Yorker. There's some kind of Buick. This is a Ford Econoline van, upside down. There's a Malibu. There's a Dodge truck. That thing's cool. And we got some sign of a old wrecker truck. What is this thing? Oh, that's a Phillips 66 truck. Oh, wow. That's a Chevy something. Still got the motor in it. Phillips 66 right on the door. That's neat. Yeah, that's a gas station truck. Got the winch. All right, well, that's part two. So what did you think? Talk about a ride along, you know, a path of cars that just is uncommon, just out of this world. I truly enjoyed walking through these and you know, at the end of the day, maybe we'll save some of them. We'll see. Not sure quite what the family's plan is to do with everything. But, you know, I truly appreciate and, and feel honored to have been allowed to come here and, and take you guys on a tour. So, thank you for joining me. Thank you to the family for letting me come out. Thanks to Mike. And honestly, I, what did you see? What, what, what excited you in this, this tour? You know, I mean, there's some crazy cool projects that could be uh, pulled out of here. And, you know, I don't know. We'll see where uh, the channel takes us. We'll see what happens. So, thank you again, and I truly appreciate you following me along here at the old junkyard. Have a good day. <laughs>